This is the story of how we made the hoverboard fly and how we got this shot. On my 10th birthday, I was given this, the DeLorean time machine. The design of this car was just the coolest thing in the world, and more so the way the second movie illustrated flight. In this movie, vehicles didn't need speed to take off, they hovered. There's something about hovering that is just so magic to witness. So I did the age 10 equivalent of research, downloaded a load of hypothetical hoverboard plans and started sketching my own with fans, engines and magnets, trying to work out how close this could come to reality. Now I'm 24. I design and test pilot the jet suit with the team at Gravity Industries. The jet suit, invented by Richard Browning, allows a human to fly with the most minimal equipment possible. I work on the design of the suit, which is mostly 3D printed in metal and polymer. If you want to learn more about design for 3D printing, have a look at my company AX in the description below. Last summer, I had the idea to try and fly with the hoverboard attached to my feet. Back to the future and proceed. Oh, it's uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is just a prop, it's just a lump of plastic, it can't actually fly. So for this first test, we zip tied it to my boots and I tried to take off. At first it was pretty wobbly, having both feet bolted to one platform while you fly feels pretty weird. You use your legs a lot while landing. But after a few tries, I got stable enough to get this shot. This was an insane moment for us. Seeing the pads on the bottom of the board as I swung round the corner looked like a stark moment straight out of the movie. So now we had a flying hoverboard. All we needed was the car. Last year, Gravity flew at Yeovilton Air Show in the UK. Just before we left for the day, I spotted the glinting stainless steel of a DeLorean parked up on display in the crowd. After asking around, I managed to get introduced to Phil, who owned the car. He took this picture of me, which looks very much like I wet myself with excitement. Phil knew Tom. Tom had built a fully modified Time Machine DeLorean and even more ludicrous was willing to let me fly alongside it. We were set. The car, the hoverboard and the gravity jet suit to make it fly. How cool is that? We managed to plan the shoot on a runway at sunset. All that was left to do is update my grandparents who bought me this in the first place on what I'd been up to. We're going to have this driving along the runway at about 20 miles an hour and I'm going to come alongside and fly next to it with the hoverboard on my feet. <laughs> with that done, the next thing was the camera rig. We chose to capture this as a one shot, an honest, no trickery, cinematic film showing hoverboard and time machine gliding down the runway together. To make this shot as beautiful as possible, we'd shoot on an anamorphic lens. Simply, this lens produces a filmic wide shot with stretched lens flares that should look absolutely incredible at sunset. After some timing coordination tests on the one wheel and under pressure to get the shot before we lost light, we set up for the first run. So for the actual shot, the Discovery is gonna be driving backwards alongside the hoverboard. Now, the car has to go backwards, then peel out to reveal the DeLorean alongside it. So we're doing some coordination shots at the moment using a one wheel as a stand-in for the actual hoverboard. Landing on the hoverboard is hard. The plastic slides along the tarmac where your boots would grip. This time we were using Velcro on the bottom of the boots, a simple solution that meant I could tear away from the board if I ever needed to. With some help from Colin to staple the Velcro into the sole of my boot. Oh, honestly, this is not normally how I work. <laughs> and with the appropriate jacket, Whoa. hat, almanac, and that little old toy DeLorean in my back pocket, we boarded over to the launch point. All ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on this side of the white line as the DeLorean is on that side. Got it. Okay. So far, everything had gone pretty smoothly, but we wanted to improve our shot from the first run, and we had time for one more flight. <laughs> At the end of the second run, I had a problem. I had to keep flying down the runway to ensure that I'd flown out of shot. I lowered the power a little too early and had a hard landing. Ah, 
Work a bit. <laughs> Work a bit. That was cool. Right? Yeah, fine. I think this is a wrap. Yep, that is a wrap. You guys okay with that? It was a gradual slide towards the ground, and apart from landing backside first on that little old toy DeLorean in my back pocket, all was fine. I got a lift back on the camera car, and we were done. This was a crazy combination of DeLoreans, jet suits, and Back to the Future at an incredible location. Thank you so much to everyone who made this possible. I never thought I'd even sit in a DeLorean, let alone we'd capture something this cinematic, bringing the hoverboard probably as close as it's ever been to actually hovering. If you want to see that final cinematic shot we captured, go and have a look at the AX channel. If you want to see more of the jet suit, go and have a look at Gravity. And if you want to see Colin Furs learning to fly with us, go and have a look at his channel. All links are below. Thanks very much. See you next time.